Hello everyone, Railgun here with another CVC and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the early game, about the 2 hatch versus 3 hatch play, about mutalisks, about lurkers and of course eventually about the end game, fruit lords and ultralisks. So we're both going for the same opener, hatch gas pool. Key difference, I go for a bailing nest while he gets an earlier third. I went for these 4 quick links at the start of the game. Trying to do a little bit of damage with them. You look at the production tab right now. He uh, is still co completing his banning nest and I already started my lair. So I'm going to have a tech advantage but he will have this third base which I sadly cannot kill with my four links. Usually when the when you have about 7 to 10 thrones at your natural, like 6 to 10 anywhere there, you'll start to go for some aggression if your opponent is too basic. I'm going for this 2 base link banning play. And he's trying to kill me. My goal right now is to simply take as little damage as I can so I can get out to either mutalists or lurkers. And his goal is to, well, use his larva advantage that he gets from his first to tr get good traits against my links with his pain links and then overrun me with, with links. So, trying to. I'm really trying hard not to die right here, but um, he's doing a lot of damage to me. I lose a lot of drones. I'm already behind in workers now. And I don't really have a tech advantage. Well, I have a tech advantage, but I don't have an economic advantage anymore. That's, of course, not good for me. He also has more larvae, so I have to be careful um, because of that as well. Trying to get through good trades where I can. Really trying. I get. Nice hits on his banning there, my banning nest will probably die sometime soon. He still has the third, he hasn't really thrown it. We am only behind one worker right now. I couldn't afford the spire until now. Made a couple too many links perhaps, I'm not quite sure. Trying to get good trades. Really. And but the banings are rolling in. Trying to take out the Baneling nest of mine and that is of course a huge blow because I can no longer build banelings. My spire is on the way, I'm adding additional gases, I need more min more drones in my main base. Lost a lot there. Uh, against the early aggression of his. We have another big Ling Bane attack coming my way and I don't really have too much to defend. So, kind of improvise a little bit here. The wall off really helps me, but he will get the baning nest yet again. I'm morphing some banings, so it's not that bad, but it's still not really what I want. My mutalists are on the way right, right now though, and he's only now starting to drone a little bit again. So I'm feeling pretty good. He's building the roach warren most likely to finish me off with a big roach push. Not quite sure what exactly the plan is, but that seems like something he would do. Right now I'm building a lot of links because even though I have mutalists I still need links to tank the damage for me because else it just turns into my e economy and kills all my workers. Now that I do have these links I'm going for a counter attack with them immediately. So you cannot just build drones, queens and spore crawlers but actually has to react to my links. I'm trying to get um, every kill that I can get is uh, very important. This link run by is once again a little bit annoying so I have to pull back home. Of course he has a lot of queens and links so I can't really pressure into that either way. I do have the double evolution chamber that I built as part of the wall of. I'm using them to get out my upgrades right now. They're really useful. 1-1 one, one links are of course really good, especially <coughs> against Spain links and things like that. He does have all these queens which make it which makes it quite hard for me to do any damage with the mutas. But I already, or did I? Yes, I already built the hydralisk then. So that's part of the next step. On this map it's really easy to hide links because you can put them a lot of places where you can put them. Trying to fight him. Get uh, a couple units dead. Of course he, he runs into my main there, then he runs into my third base here. It's just kind of chasing me all around while droning up. Still ahead in terms of workers. He should have built a couple more. So I have the economic lead right now and I'm also getting the lurker then. Lurkers are going to be a really important part of this game. Speed this up a little bit. It's not too much is happening. He's getting the 1-1 one, one himself. 
Um, if you look at the game from his point of view for a second. Uh, I don't know what that button was guys, the, the overlay is going to be right there for the rest of the game most likely. Or can I fix it? Oh, I can't. Anyways, what, he's going, what he has to deal with right now are these lurkers, right? So he's getting the hive so you can get ultralisks out and vipers because you can abduct and plant in cloud, that's really useful. Then he wants to do some damage to my third base and he has to defend against the lurkers but all he really has are queens but the queens have a lot of transfusions so it's kind of hard for my lurkers to kill the queens either way Burrow right here uh, the spine crawler is actually doing a decent amount of damage I was a little bit unlucky that I got stuck there uh, if you put on the everyone cam again what I want to do is put a lurker here put a lurker here so I can fire at both of his bases Defending against this push right now, and I keep on producing Ling Hydra Lurker. I don't really need my Mutalisks right now. He, f he luckily built Spore, so he's a kind of safe against the Lurkers. That definitely helps. He cleans them up eventually. I'm getting the Hydra Lisk range upgrade. I'm really I really don't know what this um, bug is. I never had it. Can I? I don't know how to fix it. He's getting the Ultralisk Cavern, of course. I have these Mutalisks, but they don't really do too much against all these queens. Uh, I immediately see that he goes over there to expand, so I take care of that. Transfuses the hatchery so it does not die. Does some cute Ling run bys, doing a little bit of damage here and there. Would be really good for me to burrow a couple Lurkers at my bases, that would really help. Right here we see the Lurkers burrowing it in again. I'm trying to surround the queens so my lurkers can do a lot of damage to them. Um, Ultralisks are of course a big problem. Not, uh, not as big as long as I have vision on them. But here you can see that Ultralisks are doing a really good job against my lurkers. I um, do not stop building lurkers though. I get the missile attack. So the lurkers do more damage. I got my fourth base up. He does... Or rather he is still building his own fourth base. I was going for this counter attack and links are absolute trash against them um, ultras. But lurkers are pretty good. I'm trying to kite him a little bit into my lurkers and I'm using the lurkers defensively here. Surround him with links. So my lurkers and hydralis can do a little bit of damage. He has the armor upgrade for the ultras and one carapace upgrade from the links that he upgraded earlier on. He's trying to do another cute run by right there, but nothing too much comes from it, I think. Like, three, two or three workers, that's okay at this stage of the game. Now, he keeps producing ultras, and they're of course a problem. Right here we see the damage that the lurkers can do to ultralisks. I have a lot of lurkers. And so I want to use these offensively. First of all, these things are still being a little bit annoying, killing a couple units here and there. But I want to use these lurkers offensively, so I have this base and this base as my two main targets. I could of course drop some lurkers here, do things like that. But my main two attack points are, this, are his third and fourth base. And in between is this small ledge, and, uh, or rather cliff. See how I try to make use of that. Building um, more links right now. And he has the wipers, blinding, puts the blinding cloud down, so I have to move away with my lurkers and reburrow them. I do have, I rebuilt a couple mutalists because um, they're pretty good defensively. They kind of do steady DPS on the ultralists, sadly not too much damage, but a little bit. Whispering my lurkers here, there, everywhere. He's still doing some run buys, doing a little bit of damage, but I have a lurker burrowed there with a spine crawler, so it's not too much is happening. I'm building some Corruptors right now so I can actually do damage to the Vipers because the Vipers are really good against Mutas and of course Lurkers so Viper is the answer to everything I build. Right here you saw a lot of damage being dealt, dealt to his Ultras and I keep trying to make use of this, this little um, impassable gap so he has to engage me here or here but this just gives me, it's like a little wall that I can use. So my lurkers have to worry about less. Now he's still doing run buys right here. We see it again. The ultra is almost... Uh, I can almost not kill them. The mutas do so little damage to them. 
Over here, more blinding clouds, and he's trying to abduct them, but ultralisks, I don't know, they don't really hit my units, I guess. So I go in for another round, and you see the the the, the problem are the wipers, right? The ultralisks I can kind of deal with, but the wipers I really can't, because um, we will see the parasitic bomb being used soon. Right, here we go. So I have to spread out all my mutalists and most of them still die anyways or are, or are at the very least at a really low amount of health. And my lurkers can't shoot if he puts the blinding cloud on top of them. So that's a big problem. I did expand here. He does not have a fourth base, a uh, fifth base yet. Right here I'm trying to kite the ultralist a little bit. But the damage that I do to it is... Well, it's almost non-existent, right? So I do have a lot of money right now, and I think uh, it would have been best for me to just go for my own Ultralisks and use Ultralisks together with the... with the... Lurkers to do a lot of damage to him. Right here we see a small Lurker run by. He is trying to abduct it, but he cannot catch it without links. Like, all he has are Ultras because he doesn't really have enough minerals. Over here another burrow attack, but this time he catches it as the advision of that spore crawl. He's now scouting with his links to see if I did expand. He finds my expansion and my units are there. A little too late, cannot quite clean it up. So I have to re-expand here and now we're on the evil ba equal bases again. I'm going for the prood lord, see while he's going for the infestors. I think his plan is like fungal my units, put blinding cloud on them. Well, my plan is, well, just kill him with a lot of crude lore. So we will see how we both clash right here. Going for the... Check making... Some links to check if he expanded there. A little bit out of position. He caught a couple of my lurkers there that were misrallied. He's getting the burrow right now so he can do some burrow attacks with his uh, infestors. I'm going in at the same time as he is going out, I guess. Immediately takes out that base. My mutators go in, use parasitic bomb on them, but that's not really a problem. He fungles my lurkers, but they don't really care either. And the brute lords actually do a decent amount of damage to the ultras. Because I'm not sure how much damage it does, like 20 a shot. It does get reduced by quite a bit, but it's still a decent amount of damage. Now the problem is the mobility, like his ultras are a lot more mobile than my lords. My lurkers can kind of catch up, uh, but he can't. Also, he also is unable to fight straight up against my broodlords, right? And supply-wise I am a little bit ahead, I still have minerals so I could build links, but I don't really want to build a lot of links if my opponent just has a ton of ultras, like the links are not really going to be useful. Right here we see a smart little burrow attack by him. The burrow, oh, that burrow ultralisk. I hate it. I am. Um, thought this was a possibility, but I didn't know where it. Uh, that's also the manor swarm host. Like, instead of building manor mules, we Zerks build manor swarm hosts. So I'm in the middle of the map with a lot of brood lords that I constantly have to split against all his vipers. But he can't really fight against me straight up. That's his big problem. I have these Corruptors to try and DPS down the Vipers right here. We see a split. You see Terrans think that it's hard to split Marines. I'll try to split Lords that are like 10 times as, uh, 10 times as slow. And I eventually clean up his Vipers right here. And with this the game is pretty much over. As I pee on the Hive to close this out. Now this is a little bit of a longer game. Where we saw pretty much every single Zerg unit uh, being built, except the Ravager and Roach, I guess, funnily enough. But we saw Mutalist, Corruptor, Broodlord, Swarm, Host, Ultra, Link, Bane Link, Hydra, Lurker. We saw every single unit and in, in the end, Broodlords managed to be victorious against the Ultralisks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Bye!